Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Mm, Onga. Welcome. You are watching on Gashos. Hmm. Hmm. There's so much to do today. There always is on the Ongasha show, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Health, wellness tips, music, food, dance, lifestyle discussions, and so much more. Mm -hmm. All this is brought to you by no one else but Onga, Mama's, Mama's Helping, Helping Hand. Hand. A little helping hand will go a long way to get your meals tasting really delicious. So season your cooking with hunger for that delicious taste and mm, irresistible aroma that will get your loved ones looking forward to mealtimes. If you've been watching on Gashas, you know that it's time for us to get up and get our bodies moving. So let's see what we've been up to this week on aerobics and fitness. Let's go. One. Four times now. Let's go. Four times. That's it. Four times. That's it. One more. Take it up. 
Ooh. I know some of those dance moves. You do? Let's try it now. See, I'm making my people laugh at me. <laughs> ah. Okay, don't worry. That we'll was do it fun. Another time. It was fun. Lots of fun. And it was a great workout too. So, where were you working out in particular? It looked like the whole body, but mm -hmm. it seemed like you were centering on... Most of the movements worked on your legs, your thighs, and your waist. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a lot of waist movements, mm -hmm. leg, the upper leg, and of course the lower leg, because a lot of the movements were on the toes. You know, so it was a good workout for the lower part of the body. On gosh, us, we'll be right back. A little helping hand will go a long way to get your meals tasting really delicious. So season your cooking with hunger for that delicious taste and mm, irresistible aroma that will get your loved ones looking forward to mealtimes. Mm, Welcome back to Ongashus. Our health focus for today is sickle cell disease. So we want to learn a bit more about it. We have an expert, Dr. Bodrini or Shiko Maya, a hematologist, to talk to us about sickle cell disease. Hello, doctor, how are you? So what is sickle cell anemia or sickle cell disease? Sickle cell disease is a, an inherited um, condition uh, characterized by the presence of sickled red cells in the body of the patient, which gives rise to some clinical symptoms. And what exactly is the cause of sickle cell disease? Sickle cell disease, as I said, is inherited. It's due to um, a transfer of abnormal genes from both parents into the, con um, the patient. So there's a one in four chance at each pregnancy of two patients that are sickle cell traits having a sickle cell disease patient. What are the symptoms of sickle cell disease? A sickle cell disease um, patients might not have any symptoms, but for those that have symptoms, they could have yellowish discoloration of their eyes. Some of them could be pale. Some have a deformity in their mouth. We call it natopathy. That's a protrusion of the teeth. They could have long sling extremities. Some of them are small for age, as in they do not grow very well. Some of them can limp because they have abnormalities in their bones. And some could have ulcers in their legs. Can it be diabetes? It's an inherited condition. condition. And so we make sure that people that have the sickle cell trait, that is the AS, AS, do not get married to each other. And those that have sickle cell disease do not get married to someone that has a sickle cell trait. Can it be diagnosed before the baby is born? Yes, it could be diagnosed before the baby is born. This is what we call a prenatal diagnosis. There are three common ways of doing this. Taking the baby's cord blood, taking the baby's amniotic fluid, which is called amniocentesis, and something called chronic bradyly sampling. These three methods are done using an ultrasound guided means. The sample is taken and a DNA analysis is done to know if a child has sickle cell disease or not. Hmm. Thank you so much, Dr. Bordering. Really appreciate you. You're welcome. I think one in every three persons in Nigeria knows a person with sickle cell. It's, um, I think, about 1% of the population, if not more. Maybe a little between 0.5 and 1% of Nigerians. And then a lot more people have the traits. That's what they call AS. Mm -hmm. And then sickle cell is either SS or SC. So a lot of people are AS or you know AC. And if two people who are AS marry each other, like she said, there's a one in four chance that the, the, the child they have will be a SS, which is sickle cell disease. Talking about crises and you know the longevity of, mm. you know, uh, uh, a sickle cell, you know, patient. Yeah. How true, is it a myth that um, once they reach a certain age in life, they become safe? It's true to an extent. And that's because the troublesome period is usually 
when the person is still growing, the body, the demands on the body are much higher. And when people are younger, they are not as responsible in taking care of themselves as when they're adults. So probably they don't eat right, or they skip meals, or they don't drink enough. But if they're able to walk through that phase in life and they're much older, where the body doesn't demand as much, they usually, you know, have a fairly okay life, but they may have complications like bone issues or heart issues or, you know, internal organ issues. But to a large extent, once they're able to cross a particular age, the chances of them dying kind of reduces a bit. And there's only one way of avoiding this. It's difficult. Um, a lot of people say, you know, when, when, there's, when there's love, you know, you, you, most people don't consider you know, that this can happen. Although people are a lot more aware nowadays, most people would, I mean, once they start dating, they want to know their genotype. So that, I mean, if they realize that the chances of them having a child with sickle cell disease is there, they may break it off early before they get too involved. For the first time in a very long time, I am left without anything to say. <laughs> On Gashos, we'll be right back. Deliciously creamy with all the goodness of Vitarich. That's how we've made the new Cowbell Evaporated Milk. Cowbell Evaporated Milk. Evaporated just for you. Welcome back. So, after school lessons, tutors, to do or not to do. Today on Ongasha's Family, we have Tola Oladeji to discuss the merits and demerits of after school lesson. You are welcome, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. It is welcome. Our honor Thank you. to welcome. have you here today. <laughs> so, jumping right in, uh, what's the difference between school lessons, after school lessons, and lessons at home? Well, basically, all children will pass through school lessons. That's the typical school day. Mm. Um, shortly after that, because parents probably are not available. So if you have a child in a primary school and they close at two o'clock, and you probably walk till four, then the school would provide what they call after school lesson, just to keep the children engaged. And then at times too, if a child is not doing very well in school, the mom will also organize another lesson when they get home. But then if you look at the child, is that child really learning? Not very sure. So um, the child will be tired. So basically, there's no difference. It's just that it's just the lesson and after lesson, after lesson. And we also have to bear in mind that um, we're very academic as a country. The focus is on a lot of A's in all the subjects. So there's a pressure and we're, on and the parents children. parents are very competitive. They want their Ex kids to be the best, exactly. <laughs> first in class. Exactly. So that's probably one of the reasons why. Mm. Exactly. But isn't it too much? I mean, after you've, the child has gone through class and then an after school lesson, a lesson at home. I really think it's, it's a lot. Um, if I think back about when we were in school, there was no after school lesson. You just go to school and then you come back and play, probably do some study and play, you know, in the evening. But I guess things have changed over time. Mm. But I still strongly believe that if a child needs it, you give the child some support. You get someone to come and provide additional support at home. But definitely not all children need it. Some children are independent learners and they're able to cope very well. So it's important that parents study their kids. their kids. And you know the child that you need to provide support for and the one you don't really have to do that for. In all honesty, how much lessons can a child take when do you say, mm hmm stop? I would say maximum two hours. Maximum two hours in a typical day. If a child has been in school for roughly 
six hours, seven hours, and then the child gets home. And then it's also a function of when will that child get home. Mm -hmm. So if a child gets home roughly four, or some even get home at 5 p.m., so how many hours do you have left before the child goes to bed? And I will say, a child must study. One of the things going wrong in our society now is lesson, lesson, lesson. But the children can actually sit down and do independent study. So, and that's why I would suggest that maximum, maximum two hours. And then once that is done, the child should unwind. Um, the child should take a shower, take a bite, and then probably go back and do um, some work. Now, the other side of that is that you now have children who default in homework. So the school gives homework. So the child gets home, does a lesson, and then the child is tired and still has homework in two or three subjects. At the end of the day, that child wouldn't do some of the homework and will get to school again, will be booked for not doing homework or punished for not doing mm -hmm. homework. So there's so much that these children can take. I guess we're mounting too much pressure on them. How do we factor playing, giving the children time to play into this whole scenario of lessons after lessons and all that? Like I said the other time, it's um, a function of um, school time. I work in a school where I have children who leave on the island, for instance. Mm. So before they get home, it will be roughly like 5 p.m. in the evening. Mm. So I'm not sure if that child will be able to play when he or she gets home. So some of them have lesson teachers waiting. Um, then they have to complete their schoolwork. So the only time they really play is um, over the weekends. So some parents will make provision for that, uh, probably allow their friends to come over. So there will be more time over the weekend for children to play, but less time during, during a typical week. weekday. But even in the midst of all that, I might not call it play, I will call it unwind. Because who are you playing with? You're playing with your siblings, if that is it. For some children, they're just the only child at home. Mm -hmm. So um, the parents have to be there, you know, just to provide support. So maybe it's not really play time, but what we need to talk about is the child just needs to relax, not doing something very serious, not very academic. Okie dokie. Thank you so much for joining us today. A round Thank of you. applause. Thank you very much. The choice is yours, whether or not to provide that extra school lesson for your child or the tutors, if you can afford it, do so. But remember, that child is only a child. A little downtime helps. Ongashas will be right back. The taste and aroma of top tea can leave you feeling good and ready to go, just like sunshine. Top tea also comes in ginger, lemon and lime and pure black tea. So go ahead, take a sip and feel the sunshine in every cup. Top tea, big bags of flavor. Welcome back. You're still watching On Gashas, Nigeria's family magazine and culinary show. We're having a great time today on the show. We've learned so much. We've laughed so we've much. We've laughed so much. <laughs> and we've been thoughtful when we spoke about sickle cell disease. It got us both thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's more fun to come. We have food, food, and more food. <laughs> I know why you're smiling. Oh. I know, and mm -hmm. we have a special very special person cooking for us today. Join me in welcoming our celebrity guest for the week. You see too long she used to leave there before But I got messed up and she ran out the door now I don't feel I real like I used to before All the things we used to say, all the way we used to play, how we used to day Now there's an emptiness inside of my soul And it's in my madness, is hard to show 
And God know I cannot take it no more That's why I'm asking you I don't want to come up with you See, I'm looking for someone to satisfy me Looking for someone to love me completely Looking for someone to show me true love I'm such a one kind of possibility Someone to truly love me for me Someone to come to be my true love 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 Thank you Are welcome to Wong Gashos. Thank you. Most welcome. Looking Thank very you. dapper. Dashing. Shows the system. The system. The system. Wow, <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> We're honored to have you in the house today. Thank you so much. So we have nice a team yeah. that deals in mm, information of um, areas in Nigeria. Yeah. They get the best info that one can get. And if you look right at that screen, we have info for you. Situated on the rainforest of the south-southern geopolitical zone of Nigeria, Ikom is an ancient city in Cross River State, a major border town between Cameroon and Nigeria. Ikom is blessed by Mother Nature with a beautiful landscape and refreshing weather condition. A historical kingdom with a rich cultural history and heritage, Ikom shares boundaries with Calabar, Ogoja, and Ugep. The name Ikom was gotten from the word Nkomefa, as in we have agreed to stay. The present geographical entity called Ikom Local Government Area dates back to the 16th century during the pre-colonial era. The major languages of the people include Ofutubako, Yala, Mbembe, and Ijagam. A major tourist spot, Ikom ranks as the second best in Cross River State after Calabar. Some of the intriguing sites to visit include the Ikom Town Beach, also known as Dandi Beach, the Alok and Nkarasi, where carved monoliths are sited. These historical artifacts consist of a number of grooves containing circles of stone carved in low relief in a variety of human figures. Most of it you see here, is identified tattoo marks of different ethnic groups, communities, families. The novel here shows the tattoo mark of a Dupe person and that of Igala. TV people, Igala, Idoma, and Nupe, they are all children of the Bantus. The Bantus started their movement from Congo, came to Cameroon, from Cameroon here they started moving. Today, we have been able to discover by archaeological search that Bauchi, they are not houses, is the last key end of the Bantus where they stayed by their tattoo marks. Ikom is blessed with fertile soil, which supports the growth of cocoa and generously produces fine succulent plantain, banana, yam, maize, cocoa yam, and others in large quantities. The Ikom people primarily are farmers. There are a number of local delicacies to be enjoyed in Ikom, such as plantain, eaten with bush meat and notazi. I also have pandayam and afang soup. Most times our people eat plantain in the morning, but basically pounded yam in the evening. The favorite dish of the locals, fufu, eaten with afang soup. Which is called uh, the, the African salad soup. The people of Ikom are independent, frugal, hardworking people, yet, they are proud people with an uncanny quality of perseverance. Welcome to Ikom, home of the Ejagam people. That was good. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's Ikom. Be did, honest, how did it make you feel? I feel good. Hmm. You made it, yeah, it was a good one. You did I'm going a good to have job. to dig in deep to get him to say no, something. You, you did a good job. The headstones. Oh, you want to know about them? Yes, yes. Please. Those headstones, uh, they just grew up the way we met them. We all came to meet them. I'm not too old. Even the man that was presenting it is Chief, it's called Chief Orlando. Mm. He wasn't there when those stones were there, but I think uh, his father, his grandparents were custodians of those stones. 
and it runs in a lineage. When he leaves now, his own son will be a custodian. That's how the history is. Wait, wait. Of that, of You're saying custodian. Is there something mystical about these stones? Oh, so much. But you see stones just going <coughs> and they have um, signs you know, written you on them. You know, them I, I stuff, heard yes. that those stones are Africa's version of Stonehenge. You know, the Stonehenge in, in Ex England. Exactly. And that That's the African they, And they're shop. actually, you know, in a stem. They're arranged in a circular. Exactly. Yeah. For people who believe in them, they go there, tell them their problems, and they they believe they are soft. Really? Mostly mm. farmers. Farmers will do sacrifices with their first fruits. And then the next year's harvest which is going to be, wow, you can see them. You know, so that's it. Another yes. thing that you know, was really interesting is they, they actually had an alphabet or a language. Yes, I saw the from, yes, 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 yes. There was the different... Different signs written like yeah. uh, Chinese languages or something, mm -hmm. but not English. No, it's English. not English. Not I mean, English. it was actually an alphabet. Yeah, yeah so. You so. know, and so, someone actually mentioned that to me that there was a language used in this movie that just came out, you know, and they actually used an alphabet that was from an ancient yes. language that was founded, founded in yeah. Nigeria. Yes. And you see, we still need to have to dig deep to see. Yes, yeah, so we have such rich history, we have such rich culture in this country. So it's much. amazing. Even we don't even know how much culture we have. Imagine this is the first time I'm have. seeing that. Oh, and, really? oh wow. Is I'm still saying wow in <laughs> and I'm saying wow outside. It's I'm sure so, you're really proud of your city, your town. Oh. The reason I I can say I've gotten to where I have gotten is because I'm from Ecom. Wow. Yeah. That's great. To Did you me. grow up there? I was born there. I grew up there. I went to primary school Four Corners. I didn't. I don't know if you got there. It's opposite, opposite the uh, police station. Uh -huh. I did my uh, primary school there. And then proceeded to government secondary school. That's Govi School, the popular Govi School. Mm -hmm. That's where I schooled. And then from there, I went for uh, other levels of education. Sounds like you gathered a lot of childhood memories. Minikom? Mm -hmm. Yes. Plenty. Ha! He's we going like to tell hearing us all them. about plenty, them. Plenty. Yeah, plenty. but before like hearing then, childhood stories. one of the reasons why we have a guest from one of the most beautiful cities is to be able to. Give them a meal that reminds them of home. So one of the reasons why you're here today is for us to cook in your mm -hmm. honor. I'm and sure. We want to make something from Ecom. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> or an Ecom version of something. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Ecom version of something. Of something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because if you wanted to do do something from Ecom or make something from Ecom, you would have asked me to come with my sister uh? or one of my aunties. Ah, then you would have made something for me come. No, 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 no. But you're doing a version of it. No, 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 no. See, see, he just pumped energy into me right now. Are you trying to say that despite that video and the little knowledge that we have been sharing with you, we can't cook food from your hometown? You have to bring someone into the Ongasha studio, into the Ongasha's kitchen. That's why you're doing something that you're making something that is from Ecom, not made by Ecom. So I'm proud of the Angashos kitchen. Mm -hmm. That they can be so innovative. Sir, in honor of your visit today, All right. I will be cooking white soup for you in the kitchen. Are you serious? What, what's the name of the white soup you're making? What's the name? You want me to speak in your home? Uh, language? Speak, yeah, okay. No, you've already looked for my trouble, so I'm not going to But when I'm done, you and I are going to have a five minute conversation. So we'll I give you the name when you're done? Yes. All right. Yeah, <laughs> Convince right. him that I'm a good cook. And tell him that anything that... that comes out of the Ongashos kitchen is 100%. Yes, it is. Trust us, you will love it. That's today. because of the touch of the. On yes, exactly. yes, yes. People around. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you will excuse me, sir. All right. I'm off He's to, up to the Thank you. Well done. We are up for the challenge. Okay. We are That's up for the one. challenge. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, and we'll be right back after the break. Thank you.
introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Mm. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Yes. Welcome back. I am in the Ongasha's kitchen today and I am making white soup, afang soup, edere. Correct me if I'm wrong. Edere. Edere. Edere, you're right. Good. So, on my work table, I have <clears throat> melon cubes here. I have beef, I have my afang leaves, some okra, and some dried fish. So, to begin, I'm going to boil my beef. I'm going to put a little bit of water in here and we're going to use the stock to make the soup. You don't mind if I do that, right? Uh, You're not looking impressed yet. <laughs> <laughs> Before I hand you over to Falak and I mind my own business, in the Ongashos kitchen here, we are actually taught to cook by professionals, sir. Good. That come from those areas. Mm -hmm. So you don't know, maybe it was your sister that was here yesterday teaching me. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree, you got me there. I got you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Like a... All right, have fun with me. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Is it one of the popular soups in Ecom, Edere? This Edere has a lot of significance to Ecom people. Oh, wow. Apart from the regular dishes, the regular soup that everybody enjoys. Mm -hmm. This one, when prepared, it calls for family reunion. The whole family eats together when this soup is prepared. Ah, so, so you it's wait like for you wait family for, food. Yeah, you wait for daddy to return from farm. The young men that have gone to fish uh, fire, with the ones that have gone to farm, play football, everybody returns back home to eat from a dairy in one big In one pot. pot. Wow. So it's like a reunion. It's, it's, it calls for bonding. bonding. It's called a bonding uh, dish. That's beautiful. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your childhood in Ecom and how, how it was, apart from this food, of course. We yeah, yeah. Like I, I made a statement earlier and I said, I know that everything good comes from God, mm. but I can still attribute most of the achievements I have today to growing from Ecom. Mm. Now, there's this perspective that you have as a young, as a young Ecom boy growing up. You will not want to beg, you will not want to steal, you will not want to borrow, you don't want embarrassment. Mm. And so when you don't steal, you don't beg, you don't borrow, and you have to spend. What does it mean? You, have, you to have to work, work hard. hard. Yes. We have cocoa, mm. we have timber, mm. we have a, a very big river that has sand, plenty of sand. Mm. We have the plantations. All you need to do is just take five naira or 500 naira, get to the next plantation, buy plantain, just get it out of mm. the farm, and you're selling for a thousand naira. Wow. So you make money. So everybody grew up with that Industrious. spirit. Industrious, yeah. And I started hawking at a young age. When I come back from school, my mom used to be a trader. So she trades on all of those things, oranges, mango, and all that. And I said, Mommy, I've returned from school. I've had my food. Can I just go hawk? That's how I started trading. Wow. And I'm sure that I'm doing well trading now. And I trade to you tomorrow. <laughs> And when I got at a certain age, I, I had to escort cocoa on trucks from Ecom to Lagos. In fact, my first ever being to Lagos, I came on a truck on a lorry. With cocoa? Yes, with cocoa. Wow. With just the address. Wow. And you know what I did? What? When I got here, yeah. the little monies I was paid, I can't remember whether it's 5,000 or 10,000, I rushed to one of these markets and bought the same fairly used clothes, Okrika. So when I go back, as I wait for the next truck of cocoa to be loaded, I sell, sell the get my monies. As I'm go coming back, back I get more monies here, and the business kept expanding. Wow. And so that's the life of an e boy, a proper 
Ecom boy. Hmm. So it's, it was fun growing in Ecom. And I'm, so Ecom I'm sure people are industrious. Very industrious. Have a strong sense of business. Yeah. Entrepreneurship. We are purely business farmers. Wow. Business farmers. As I speak with you last week, I was in my farm. Hmm. That's great. Right now, I'm doing about three, four, three so to four hectares what of do you, maize. What do you grow? Maize, for now. Maize. Just maize. I have a cocoa farm. Oh. I have, inside the cocoa farm, there's a um, uh, plantain. Okay. That one is like a free gift because you have it growing everywhere, everywhere. around the cocoa farm. So. Wow. It sounds like it's a land that is really and truly blessed. Yeah, it's blessed. Really blessed. It's blessed. What about your school? Yeah, I started with uh, a Caribbean Federal Polytechnic. Now it's a, a Bonny State Federal Polytechnic. Uh -huh. I had an OND there in computer science. When I came for, I came back for my industrial attachment. I, I was employed as um, a filling station manager to corn oil PLC. Then National Oil and Chemical Marketing PLC. Mm. So I, 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 I was a manager for some time, and then I decided to further my education. I went to University of Calabar and studied Environmental Protection and Resource Management, wow. EPM. I graduated from there, and uh, because I found myself in a very good environment where schools are everywhere, and I had some more time, I had to go back to National Open University to study law, I just graduated. Wow. Waiting to go to law school. That's awesome. So when we come back, we'll continue our wonderful and interesting discussion with Ambassador Ayang. Stay tuned. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back. I am in the Onga Show's kitchen making Afang soup for our special guest. So while Falake and our special guests were talking, uh, the melon balls went in, fish went into the pot, palm oil is in the pot. Now I'm about to season before I put in my okra. I've decided to use chicken today and three onga cubes. See, I'm going to do this and I'm going to keep looking at our special guest through the corner of my eye because he has a look <laughs> on his face. It's a good thing I never lose my confidence when it comes to standing in front of a cooker. Mm. If not, I would have run out since. <laughs> he doesn't look impressed at all. I know I am. Oh. He's scrutinizing you to see, hmm. Oh, he has been looking for my trouble. I might just decide to make a three course meal right here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now. I heard him talking about. So I'm putting in three onga cubes. Okay. Uh, while I was working, I heard him talking about being an industrious youth mm -hmm. and how a lot of our young people now aren't so much, you know, inclined to be that way. It got mm. me thinking, why? And I think it's because most of us have it easy. So we rest on our laurels. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. When we have our fathers, grandfathers telling us, when I was your age, I hawked bottles. Mm -hmm. Or like our dear ambassador here, he sold secondhand clothes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. But you grow up in a situation where everything is handed to you on a silver platter. My third onga cube is going in. So you decide, well, if you can give me everything I want and I don't have to work for it, you can give it to me for the rest of my life. Hmm. So they just relax. How do we become a better community, a better country with youth like that? Hmm. I think that's one of the reasons why they say necessity. 
come again. There's a saying that says necessity is the mother of invention. Hmm. And a lot of times you find that when people need something, they're more industrious, they're more um, ingenious, they're more creative when there's a need. But when everything is placed you know, on, to you, given to you on a platter of gold, you don't have to think about anything and so you just take and not give or not try to do more than you, I mean, that's, that's, that's what I think happens. What you just said makes me think the problem isn't just with the youth, it's coming from the top. Possibly. My okra is going in. Ooh, really? that looks nice. Yes. Looks like we might visit that kitchen very soon. Oh, I me. think so too. <laughs> Let's see what's going on there. Should we go and check? Okay, why not? Okay. <laughs> We're coming to you. After Members you? of the audience want to come with you, it seems. I'll just sit here. Maybe you should go ahead with her and just have a look. Wow, this kitchen So is my beautiful. okra just went in. I'm going to add a little bit of water and I'm going to let it simmer. Nice. Right. Is it looking familiar? Ambassador, yes. there's actually an apron behind you if you want to. No. Oh, yeah, I, okay. I you just want to supervise. I'm frowning, so he does. See, he, see where he's standing for? He said, <laughs> more water. More water. More? more yes, more Okay. Water. More water. Wow. So he really knows his. Yes, and his I'm very stuff. willing to take instruction. <laughs> more. More water. More. It's a liquid soup. Yes, you want it, it really liquid? Not too, but it shouldn't be too thick. Okay. More water. And then you can put more, more water. <laughs> but I think you're doing you're doing great. Uh, Thank you. Sir. Let me leave you to continue. Uh -huh. I think Is this enough? No, it's enough. Okay. Yeah, right. Well done. Thank you. Thanks for being a good cook. Oh, Thanks okay. to hunger. No problem. Yeah. So I'm surprised you didn't walk into the kitchen, Falaka. Her. Yeah, yeah. But okay. she's doing the right thing. Too. Oh, that's great. You see, we told you we are super here. So yeah, we super. have super women. What kind of music do you like, sir? I enjoy my music according to my mood. Aha. Uh -huh. In the mornings, I need to listen to. Frank Edward, I need to listen to Sinatch. Right. As I'm going to work, I play a little bit of jazz to ah. keep my brain moving. Uh -huh. And then when I get to the office, I still do jazz until later in the evening, mm. where I might decide to pop a little. Wow. So it's my mood. We have an amazing band here. Oh, nice band. Spice band, let's Oh, give talking it a about taste. music. Spice band. Oh, talking yes. about music. There's something that I almost forgot to mention. What's that? Do you know a man of blessed memory called uh, Prisnico Mbarga and the Roca Figures? No, actually I Sweet don't. Sweet Mother, the man that sang Sweet, Sweet Mother. Mother. Ooh. You visited Ikom and you didn't go to his residence. He is from Ikom. Wow. Ooh, 
was a good Now that we've danced, I'm, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm yes. sure you're very hungry too. I don't know what's <laughs> happening in the kitchen. I've been wondering. Well, while you were dancing, I took your advice yeah. and doubled the quantity. Oh, you did? And then I found some stockfish in the fridge and just I'm not sure who it belongs to, but I dumped it in there just to add <laughs> more, just to make my soup more robust. Nice. Now, he was correct when he said, I learned it from somewhere. I also learned that the chief of the pot, which is the Uzazi, is very, very medicinal. Yes, yeah. it is. Apparently, it soothes coughs. Mm -hmm. I read, but there was an asterisk there, that it could help with infertility. Hmm. Yes. And skin conditions. So let's not get started with the okra. We already know okra. Okra is a master on its own. Yes. But this leaf, I didn't know that. So now it probably will be a staple once every two weeks in my own kitchen. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yes. Awesome. Nice one. Mm. When we come back, we will be at the table enjoying this delicious meal that Umi has just made. Edere is called. Edere. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Ongashes. And the Ongashes moment is here. Our food is ready, the table is set. Umi was our chef today. And now we are ready to eat. All thanks to Onga. Mama's helping hand. So Umi, what was it like cooking up this delicious meal of edir. A little overwhelming. Mm. Felt like I was under pressure trying to please, please. our yes. special guest today, but he was nice. Mm -hmm. He gave me a couple of tips. More water, which doubled the quantity. Wow. Nice. Can I have your bowl, sir? And right. it looks amazing, wow. Yes. Yeah. I think it looks lovely. Mm. Awesome, yummy, yummy. And we have a special guest at our seat today, Michael, from our wonderful Spice Band. We're like, we just want to appreciate you guys for all the lovely music. Thank you Unfortunately, we couldn't have the whole band on the table, but we have Michael oh, here. So. get the message. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and on behalf of Onga, I just want to sing this special song for all the mothers in the world today. Wow. Oh. For the suffering you suffer for me, yeah. sweet mother, sweet mother. Oh, yeah. When I'm the hungry. My mother go carry me. He go find me something when I go chop. He go find me for say make I sleep, sleep, sleep. My begin When I no chop, my mother no go chop. If I no sleep, my mother no go sleep. She no retire, oh, sweet mother. I no go forget this about where you suffer for me, yeah, yeah. Sweet mother, sweet mother, oh. I'm not gonna forget you for the 
so far away, you so far for me, sweet mother, sweet mother. Oh, hey. oh sweet mother, sweet mother, sweet mother. I don't go forget you. On the sofa where you so far for me, sweet mother. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Wow, thank you, Michael. <laughs> please, let's dig it's in. It's time to eat. You want to wash your hands? Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Okay. This is just start eating. She didn't cry again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you actually got this right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Can you see? Nice see? one. Oh. Nice one. Nice one. Umi, he's giving you 100% too. Yeah. 100%. Wow. Oh, my you God. You got it right. Oh, great, 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 great. Let me taste this. Can you see? Just it. Mmm. She got it. She got it. This is really good. I'm glad you like it. Wow. So the labor of love. Oh, Kumi. <laughs> this is ungraciously delicious. <laughs> Thank you very much. So you really, really like it. Does it taste like? Yeah, like what we do. What you do in Ecom. The difference is that we cook ours with firewood. Mm. Uh. <laughs> So you test a little bit of the smoke. Of the smoke. That's yeah. what grows your brain. <laughs> it makes it sweeter. Is that mm. Ambassador, did you just minus one for my 100%? No, I still give you your 100%. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I was about to cite no, you see how my hunger spices as my argument for 100%. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how skeptical he was when he came in? Mm -hmm. and, but now he's like, oh, this is awesome. I'm at home now. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thank you, Ambassador, for being here with us. We had a great time. Yeah. Thank you for inspiring us to be industrious. And Umi, thank you so much for this delicious meal. Yeah, really becoming a super chef. All thanks to Onga. All thanks to Onga. Thanks to Onga. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Michael, it's great to have you on our table today. We should do this more often. Yeah. I hope you've had fun. We definitely have. Join us again next week, same time, same station, for another episode of On Gashes. Good night. Thank you.